What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another one. Hope all is well. Tavares Dawson, he's headed to Jacksonville State. But this article goes into why he left Colorado. And um, let's talk about that. Stay tuned. Guys, please do me a favor. Before we get into this video, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. All of that will be greatly appreciated by me. All right, for the record, um, everything that's being said in this article, um, I'm getting it secondhand, so I'm going to say alleged. Um, but there were some things that were said in this article here. And of course, you know who's reporting it, SI. SI is um, cutting and pasting what um, the bus beat is um, writing here. But they are reporting that Tavares Dawson, um, he found a new home, Jacksonville State. And I started thinking about that, right? He's from, he's close to Jacksonville State, right? So he probably wanted to, um, I believe he have a newborn. He probably wanted to stay closer to home. Because I was thinking um, he was at Colorado State. I was like, that might be a good fit for him. Even though it had been totally up when they play, but... Now that I think about it, like the article said here, he's closer to home, so I, I can understand that. Uh, he's from Fort Myers, so. Um, now, let's get into this article. So it says, after spending a year at Colorado, the wide receiver, Tavares Dawson, will be staying closer to home. The former four-star Auburn commit decided on Jacksonville State after being dismissed from Colorado, eventually entering the transfer portal. Now, in this article, they go on to say why he was dismissed. I guess he had an interview with someone. Someone I don't know. But um, the 5'11", 170-pounder appeared in seven games for the Buffs in 2023. Dawson started four games when Travis Hunter was sidelined due to the lacerated liver. He recorded 14 receptions for 124 yards and a touchdown to go along with one carry and eight yards for one touchdown um, on the ground. Uh, this includes a career best performance against Nebraska. He did play good, I must say, against Nebraska, and we needed him in that game. Um, Dawson's story is unique. Now, here they go. This is where um, some, maybe some of you are privy to why he left. Do anybody know why he left Colorado? Do you know, like, do you know just offhand, leave it in the, well, you don't have to leave it in the comment section, save it for the live chat. Um, but if you know, I don't know, but we're going to go ahead with this story here. So as soon as they said Dawson's story is unique in the landscape of Colorado's roster, I knew something was coming. So they said Dawson's story is unique in the landscape of Colorado's roster. The Fort Myers, Florida native came from the same hometown as Deion Sanders. And as it turns out, the two share realities. He came into Boulder to compete, but wasn't treated like the rest of the Sanders can. You see how they're doing, right? This is what it says. Dawson described an incident back in January that resulted in Coach Prime dismissing him from the team. He informed CU's coaches of his intentions to head home to Florida to be with his daughter's first birthday. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, nobody reportedly shot down the idea of Dawson going across the country. Sanders even told him to have a good time with his family. However, that wasn't the same energy applied when Dawson returned back to Boulder. All right, let's continue to read here. Dawson arrived late due to flight delays but kept in contact with the staff on his whereabouts throughout the entire process. After returning to practice, he was confronted by CU's receiver coach, Jason Phillips, who took over weeks prior under Coach Prime. The longtime friend of Sanders met up with him and didn't take much time before the situation took a turn out on the practice field. All right, so let's continue. Coach Prime started talking about how I let um, I let down the program, especially Shador, by coming back late. He told me he was going to take away my playing time and was upset. Dawson told, okay, so he told this web, um, website here that I'm reading, Busbeat, because they said he told Busbeat. He said, I spoke up for myself. Coach Prime told us to be responsible and take care of our family. That's what I was doing. I told him 
it was nonsense that I was being punished for being present for my daughter. But Shiloh and Shador could miss a week for a fashion show. Prime lost it and started cussing me out and told me to pack my stuff in front of my teammates. Um, Dawson believes that Coach Prime and others have tainted future opportunities for him. It's a common theme with players who bounce from Colorado. A good amount of the 42 player, excuse me, the 42 transfer players had to move out on on as solid additions to other programs while others wait for the opportunity. There are too many of us with the same story, Dawson said. Some of these schools will reach out and then the conversations turn dry. Why is that? We're willing to work on a field we didn't get a chance to truly prove ourselves for Coach Prime and and his staff for them to be playing around with our livelihoods. Dawson has the Jacksonville State with three years of eligibility remaining on the book. So let me just say this. Um, he has three years of um, eligibility remaining on the book, so he has some wiggle room to work around. He can get his feet wet at Jackson State, have a dominant season, and then, um, you know, possibly upgrade and go elsewhere. But I understand that he wants to be close to home, so this is a really good move. However, I don't know about this story here. Somebody, um, I know somebody was mentioning this story um, not too long ago, but you guys got to help me out here because um, I don't know anything. So apparently he wanted to go spend time with his daughter and the, the staff and everybody approved of it. He said, Coach Brown said, go enjoy time with your family. According to him, he said he was coming back and he had flight delays. Now, flight delays are unforeseen circumstances. That happens. I mean, you could plan to come back on a Friday and for weather situations or um, there could be a mechanical issue with the plane. Those are all unforeseen circumstances that shouldn't be held against you. Like, for example, let me just say this. Um, I don't know what happened here, but I'm just going off of what he said on the story. And um so let's say I contacted the staff, right? I want to go spend a little time with my daughter. And they said, okay. So I go there and obviously I got to be back by a specific um, period of time. But what happens if some unforeseen circumstances arise? I'm asking you guys now. What, what happens if an unforeseen circumstance arise where let's say my plane had mechanical issues and I can't get another plane that day so that's going to make me late but i'm con but i'm in contact with the um staff is that fair is that fair that's what i want to um that's what i want to know from you guys is that fair because something seems off with the story because i'm reading this story i'm like something seems a little off here the reason why i say that is because he also said coach prime started cussing him out he said he don't curse I never heard him curse. So that's one thing. But uh, maybe he do curse behind closed doors. I don't know. He's human. But again, my question is, if they said it was okay for him to go to Florida and he said he had flight delays, like unforeseen circumstances could be something wrong with the plane. It could be weather situations and you get back late. But he said he was in communication with his staff. And everybody said it was OK. But then when he got back, it wasn't OK. Now, is that fair? If that's the tr if it, if what he's saying is the truth, is that fair? That's what I want to know from you guys. Interesting. I didn't. I never heard about this uh, situation. Um, I never heard about this situation. I do know that Coach Prime always say that. Make sure you're not late. You know, you can go wherever you want to go, but. You need to be back by Sunday. So that means that your flight, you need to come back Friday. That means that you need to come back Thursday or Friday or whatever the case is, right? But what happens if his uh, flight was scheduled for Saturday, but then he had flight delays? See, maybe he should have came back Friday. You know, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to look at this um, in 360 here for a second. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, 
Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Look at it in 360 because um, he's saying that the way he's making it seem like when he came back, he thought everything was all good and then he was blindsided. That's what he's trying to say. And he was told to leave. Well, he said he stood up for himself. And that's when he's got cussed out and was told to leave. Um. Yeah, the safe thing is to do. Let me just say this. I always like to try to put a positive spin on it. If you if if you got to be back somewhere Sunday, if you got to be to work Sunday, like let's say if I take a trip, right? I had been out of the country before and then been over West Coast, wherever the case is, right? Let's say if I have to be somewhere on Monday, the safest thing for me to do is come back Friday or Saturday. That's the safest bet. Uh, Friday is the safest. The reason why I say that is because you have a t you have time in between the rest. Now, if you come back Sunday knowing you got to go somewhere Monday, now you're cutting it now because anything could come up. Like I said, unforeseen circumstances that may arise. Um, so it's always best to come back two, one or two days before. Actually, t um, two to three days before. Um, no, actually, I got it wrong. You don't want to come back 24 hours before, 48 hours before, at least the minimum. So, but he said, despite that, he was still in contact with the staff. I don't know, guys, because um, I don't know. I don't know about this um, situation here. I don't know. You guys got to help me out. So I, I really uh, look forward to reading your comments on this one, because this is not the first time I heard this story. But now the bus beat is saying it. Um, so, but we don't know. the. F I wasn't there. I wasn't a fly on the wall. Like, I don't know what the conversation did. It get ugly. Like, F what you talking about. I, you know, I, I, I don't know. Did it get all the way ignorant? I don't know. So, but unfortunate though. Um, he was a good player though. Um, is a good player. Not was. I wish him the best at um, Jacksonville State, right? I wish him, he's going Jacksonville State. I wish him the best at Jacksonville State. So it's unfortunate, but um, that's his story. Um, as I said before, there's three sides to the story, his side, their side, and the truth. I wasn't there. You wasn't there. So, or maybe some of you were there that's watching. I don't know. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know. Let me know something. But um, let me just say this. Let me just say this as an elder statesman. Yeah, some of my elder statesmen. I have gray hair, but I cover it up. Um, so if he was in communication with the university, I mean, with the personnel and things like that, with the coaches, and they said it was okay, that he's having a flight delay, something seems off here. Because you remember just recently Rock, he wasn't at practice and he had to he had something to do. And Coach Prime just talked to him. You know, they were just talking. And he came back to practice. Everybody said, Welcome back, Rock. And uh, apparently he probably talked to the staff and let them know this is what I gotta do during this time off. I think it was just if the if the if the communication was clear, I don't think it should have been a problem. If the communication was clear, man. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting the full story here. I don't know. I don't know if I am. Like, just something seems off because unforeseen circumstances um arise and um it's sometimes out of our control. I mean, preferably me, if I got to be back somewhere Sunday, I would leave Friday. You know, to be on the safe side. But you know, mistakes happen, so you know, um and then he said that he allowed Shador and them to miss practice uh, for the fashion show. Yeah, something don't seem right. And I, I'm a I'm an honest person. Like, um, I the story is off because if he con if he communicated with staff, then that should have been okay. I can see, but but we don't know. What if there was no communication, or what if the communication was kind of. Uh, what if the communication was kind of blurred? You know what I'm saying? So then I could see. 
It's unfortunate though, man. Um, yeah, he did mention that that uh, fashion show. They did miss. They did miss practice. But um, I think the communications was blurred, guys. That's that's the only thing I'm gonna go with. The communication was blurred. But drop a comment below. Let me know um, what you think about this. I'll probably continue this on a maybe if I go live or something like that. I'll talk about it. But anyway, guys, um, what can you say? Um, yeah, what can you say? But uh, drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.